Governments, banks, and enterprises are moving to blockchain solutions, and it is not a question of if, it's more like when. There's many blockchains that people are studying and people are into, but there's only one blockchain that I have found that is actually efficient enough to be used on a global scale. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is C. Will, and this is the Passive Income Network. Make sure you hit that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you stay up to date with my latest video and on today's video we're going to dive deep into algorand and why it is the best technical blockchain so forget the price let's just focus on the metrics and the use cases that algorand allows you to do when you're building your business let's get started when we're talking about a technical blockchain we're talking about the speed 2.8 seconds of block time, instant finality. We're talking about security, quantum secure chain history. And we're also focused on scalability. Millions of users with no congestion and a sh for sure low fees that 0.001 algo per transaction is amazing. In other words, they need Algorand. And I'm talking about Doge. So Algorand Foundation made this post to point out how great of a technical blockchain Algorand is. This is something that you can't do on every single blockchain efficiently. So from, from, uh, Doge, in the, from Doge in the U.S. to governments, institutions across Latin America, Asia, Middle East, Africa, and Europe, they'll all arrive at the most efficient blockchain Many institutions worldwide are already ahead of the curve. Look below to see how they're using Algorand. So what we're going to do is go on to focus a little deeper on the transaction part, the scalability. So right here, 34,008 transactions inside of one block. Remember, one block is 2.8 seconds. So in 2.8 seconds, 34,000 plus transactions went through at one time. So you have a 100% success rate. It was under three seconds, all in one block. And if you already know about Algorand, you're going to agree with me. Not many chains can do this. That's over 12,000 transactions per second, exceeding our stated 10,000 transactions per second by 20%. Algorand thought they can do 10, but it actually did 12 so far, 12,000. While other chains exaggerate their speeds, we outperform ours. Algorand, build different and see the block. So this is what happened. This was on February 19th of 2025 at 2255. So real close to the end of the night, about 11 p.m. on the West Coast. And then you got the information on what node proposed the block, the total transaction count, and then it goes into the fees. Let's dive deeper on the fees. We recently saw the block of 34,000 transactions on Algorand. The total cost of this block was approximately $8.90. That was at the time of Algorand on the price that day at that moment. This block would have cost $697 on Solana and $21,000 plus dollars on Ethereum. To governments, businesses, and consumers, cost matters. And that's real. So think about it. If you're running your business, especially a real-world asset business, you're running something, you know, a project where you're covering all the fees because a lot of businesses need to do that so their customers can just do what they need to do on their platform. And if you're doing 30,000, 34,000 transactions in one 2.8-second round, Algorand was less than $9. Solana is slightly close to $700. And we know Solana also gets congested. When I was trying to buy the Trump coin the day when Trump dropped his coin that night, Friday night before his election or inauguration, I had trouble. I tried about five times to buy the coin. I could not buy it, so I just walked away. On Algorand, that wouldn't have happened, obviously. And then if you go to Ethereum, Doing 34,000 transactions would it be $21,000. And then the source is doing.com, so check the source. That's very interesting. 
Let's go to more info on this. A new airline just landed on TravelX website with 30 million plus yearly passengers. Volaris looks to be the latest airline to embrace TravelX's tokenization solution powered by Algorand. They joined the Aerobus and Fly Bondi. Now that's real world adoption. Algorand can. And then why is this important? Let's dive in deeper. Algorand can bring flexibility to airline ticketing systems. TravelX is revolutionizing the airline industry with its innovative solutions by leveraging cutting edge technology. It enables airlines to dynamically optimize inventory, better align supply with demand and unlock new revenue opportunities. TravelX enhances customer flexibility while creating unique revenue streams for airlines and improving operational efficiency. With his groundbreaking approach, TravelX is disrupting the aviation sector and introducing unprecedented use cases that are reshaping the future of air travel. So they're using Algorand blockchain to do this. And Algorand right now, TravelX right now is about 30%, handles about 30% of all of Algorand transactions. So TravelX is responsible for one third of the transactions happening on Algorand. So if you look at that one block, let's say, TravelX, if it was 34,000, TravelX did about 11,000 of those transactions. And it just keeps going. So it makes tickets transferable with dynamic value, a collateral, an asset class, a mean of payment, inoperable, and much more. So TravelX is definitely doing it, and there's a lot of benefits. And so far, there has been 2.2 million NF tickets sold. 18 million transactions on Algorand since the launch and 5 million happy passengers. I think that is actually huge. And if we go down, there's a, a whole list of different things that Algorand can do. And they have put up a dope website to help promote the different things that Algorand can do all around the world, decentralized finance, digital identities, healthcare passports, asset tokenizations, all kind of different things. Pretty cool. And if we go over to why I built on Algorand, this would be a good example for y'all to watch and pay attention to. So let's dive in. We decided let's make our own digital euro. The fees need to be very, very low to allow micropayments. They need to be a short settlement times. While all these factors together leaves only very few candidates. The key things that Algorand's brought to this equation that we don't require these centralized institutions in Afghanistan which aren't functional. Hesab Pay tries to help people receive funds wherever they are in the world, areas where there might not be any banks. They're transacting currently 3 billion Afghani a month. They're using it not only, you know, transfer money peer to peer, but also to pay their, you know, home electric bills. Building DeFi up on Algorand, it's efficient, especially for the user experience because of low fees of transaction. It allows to have apps that are very easy to use and in a sense programmable and always efficient. Using Algorand, it means that the you, you will have an efficient user experience. Great video and a breakdown of some of the businesses that are building on Algorand. Quanto, Sasape, Folks Finance, Care Wallet, a whole bunch of other things. And then if we go into the nodes, this is the decentralization part of it. What happens when staking is open to anyone with a mini PC and an internet connection? A stronger more secure and decentralized network powered by real participants, not gatekeepers. And then I'll break down after this what my node is doing. There was 1,517 on November 11th. One month later, there was 2,122 mainnet nodes. <clears throat> then one month after that, 3,000. One month after that, a few weeks later, as the data is showing by... February 2nd, a few weeks ago, 4,645 nodes. Ethereum has about 6,000, so Algorand is very, very close to being the most decentralized blockchain in the space. And again, speed, 2.8 second blocks, instant finality, security. We'll do a whole nother video about that again. Quantum security, the history of the chain is safe. 
It's scalable. We just read many examples and it's very low cost. And then if we're talking about mainnet nodes again, I'm running my node on Valar. And so far, I've started uh, at the beginning of this month, right? And I have completed so far 15 blocks. So my node is about 30,000 algos. And I use Valar, which is a platform that helps you run a node without running a node on your computer. And the algos stay directly into your wallet. So in 25 days, I have completed 15 nodes or 15 blocks and have been rewarded. So out of 15 blocks, 13 of those blocks have made me profit because it cost me about 20 algos to get the node set up for 30 days. And then if I did 15 blocks, I have profited 13 blocks worth of algo, which is roughly 130 algo. So I spent 20 algo made 130 and I actually don't even have to run my node. I just contract it out to someone else and that 30,000 algos stay directly in my wallet. What can I say? I'm feeling good. And if you notice, I got my Algorand hoodie on. They sent me this. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, can. And that's what they're pushing right now. Algorand can. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Give me your thoughts. <clears throat> Give me your suggestions of how you feel about this video and the information that was presented to you. Again, my name is C. Will with the Passive Income Network. <clears throat> Until the next time, y'all. Peace. Passive income, passive income. Gold in my dental. Thank God for my mental. Investor fundamentals told my girl it was simple.